Hi, welcome to Coffee with Kimmin. Thanks for joining our webinar today. I'm Brenda Fonseca. I'm a Senior Technical Service Manager here at Kimmin Human Nutrition and Health, and I'm going to be hosting this webinar. We're going to have uh, exciting information. Hopefully you'll find this quite informative about Floor Glow Lutein and how this relates to the gamer opportunity, uh, especially as uh, things have changed and we all know some of, the, uh, some of us are getting a lot more blue light exposure. Um, so once again, as I said, I'm Brenda Fonseca, um, and we're here to talk about the gamer opportunity. So just to let you know, uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email them. I'll give you the email at the end, but just uh, so you have it now, it's for CC Snyder. So feel free to email CC Snyder. She's our product manager for Floriglow Lutein. Her email is cc.snyder at kimmin.com, and we'll give you that to you at the end. So please write down your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're very interested in this uh, um, uh, issue that's happening right now as far as blue light exposure and how fluoroglolutein offers a lot of assistance and potential opportunity to help with people's eye health. So let's jump right in. Um, and as you know, maybe if you are home or have kids at home during this quarantine, uh, we are experiencing quite a lot more blue light exposure. So Verizon put out some numbers from the first week of where people were staying home. They saw a 75% jump in, uh, in video game usage. So it's clearly, I know I'm experiencing it as well at home. Clearly people are spending a lot more time in front of the screen, our children, us, um, we just are getting a lot more blue light exposure than we might have been getting before. Uh, when we think about this group, the, you know, we can think about esports, we can think about gamers, and we need to think about two things. What are they being exposed to? So, and then what are they desiring? So what are their health needs as it relates to this exposure and extreme exposure to video games? And then what are they looking for in order to really perform well? So we know, for instance, there's quite a bit of blue light exposure. So that's that light coming from those video games and getting into possibly damaging our, our retinas. Um, we know there's glare that the video gamers are dealing with. We know there's visual processing uh, demand. So they're wanting to really perform in with these visual processing tasks at a, a nice rate. And then we know that there's memory demands as well. So let's get into what fluoroglolutein has to offer and how we feel like this is a very unique opportunity to really be able to address these health issues. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my video off so it doesn't block these slides. Um, so as I said, Fluoroglow Lutein really is the legacy lutein. Uh, so we're the most studied brand. We have over 90 human clinical studies. We are the blue light brand. We have a patent showing how lutein filters blue light and we're extremely safe, especially when we're thinking about for our children and the opportunities that exist exist there. We actually are approved for use in infant nutrition, just to give you an, an idea of the safety profile of this ingredient. Um, some people might ask, what is lutein itself? So uh, when we think about what lutein is, uh, uh, really we should be thinking about these green, dark green leafy vegetables. Uh, there are, lutein and zeaxanthin are called carotenoids and they occur in the diet. So they occur in kale, spinach, asparagus, uh, avocado, a corn, eggs. So a lot of those great things that we all should be eating enough of in order to get natural sources of lutein and zeaxanthin. We do know that our body is not able to make lutein or zeaxanthin, so we really have to get it from either a diet or supplementation. Uh, typically, uh, both lutein and zeaxanthin are found together in foods, and a lot of times it's in a five to one ratio, with five uh, being the lutein and one for the zeaxanthin. Uh, what happens when we eat it? Well, it does several things. One thing we know for sure is it's deposited in some very crucial areas of our body, in particular the eye, the brain, skin, breast tissue, breast milk, and we have a really nice, easy, non-invasive way to measure the amount of lutein specifically deposited in the back of the eye. So you can see here with this image, that's an eye, a depiction of an eye, and then the light coming in through the lens. And at the very back, you see that yellow, that's a depiction of where lutein and zeaxanthin get deposited specifically in the eye in order to do some blue light filtering and also visual performance enhancement. 
All right, so be thinking about your questions. Uh, one question we get a lot is that, um, well, am I getting enough lutein and zeaxanthin from my diet and how much really should I be getting? So when we look at uh, clinical studies, uh, most of the clinical results uh, show us that a good estimate is that we should be getting around 10 milligrams of lutein and two milligrams of zeaxanthin on a daily basis. So you can see here, uh, the blue is the amount of lutein that uh, we're getting in the average US diet. The orange is the zeaxanthin. Um, and then the gray line right there that's circled is where we should be. So nope, we're not there. Not there when we're younger and not there when we're older. And, and pretty much none of us are getting the amount of lutein and zeaxanthin that we should be getting from our diet. And this is really global. It changes uh, slightly. The numbers change slightly when we look around the world. But there's really no place around the world where the average intake is really where that recommended dose uh, of, of, from the clinical studies really shows that's a beneficial effect. All right, so why do we need that? What, what benefits do we see from these clinical studies? And today I wanna to just briefly talk about three benefits, the blue light protection, the visual performance, and the cognitive peak performance. So really show how lutein and zeaxanthin help with all three of these areas, give you just a little uh, insight into some of the studies that support that. And then of course, uh, contact us with your questions, send us your emails, and we'd love to do a deep dive into this research. There's just great research on this opportunity. Um, so first, protect. So what do we see? Here we are, you know, imagining uh, this is such a great image because when we think about blue light, you know, you can actually see the blue here, but blue light is really a high energy wavelength light um, and it uh, enters the eye and can do some long term damage. So you can see at the top that includes damage to the retina, that includes uh, reducing our ability to recover from glare, reducing our visual performance and also making uh, it more likely to get some age related eye conditions. Um, at the bottom, you see uh, the visual spectrum there along the very bottom going from 300 to 800. So that's high energy light on the left going to lower energy light. And you see the spectrum there for where blue light falls and you see the devices. So our smartphones, our video games, our PCs, everything that we're spending all sorts of hours right now looking at, staring into, that's emitting this high energy wavelengths that's getting into our eye and causing potential damage. So here's another depiction of that and what we can actually do about that. So uh, this is a schematic here of, uh, you know, obviously the eyeball showing this blue light getting in there and especially damaging the center part of our retina. So the retina is the very back of the eye with that yellow uh, circle around the back of the eye and it, it's where our photoreceptors are. So that's what allows us to see. And so we don't want those photoreceptors damaged and blue light is so high energy that it can cause damage to those photoreceptors. But one thing that's really amazing about the properties of both lutein and zeaxanthin is that they work as blue light filters. So they're almost like sponges and really soaking up that high energy wavelength and protecting it from those photoreceptors. So here we're looking at basically a little uh, zoomed in portion of the retina. Um, and actually the light comes in and then it goes through some of the some other cells and then the photoreceptors are at the very back of the retina. So at the very bottom of this image here, you see those photoreceptors and right in, on top of those where the L and the Zs are listed, that yellow pigment, that is actually the lutein and zeaxanthin that gets deposited there, actually almost like an internal pair of sunglasses soaking up that blue light and preventing it from doing damage to those photoreceptors. Uh, lutein and zeaxanthin are actually very strong antioxidants, which also plays a role in a protective function. So really important to have it and to have as, as much lutein and zeaxanthin, the right amounts that's protecting our eyes. And if we're not getting it from the diet, which clearly the last slide showed, we need to be getting it from somewhere else. All right, again, Think of your questions, send, you know, write them down. We have an email, I'll give you the email here at the end because we really wanna hear from you guys on, on what your thoughts are on this. The second area that we know gamers are extremely interested in is performance. How can I increase my performance? So we know that the carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, help with some really important aspects of visual performance. So glare, your ability to recover from glare and see uh, even with glare. Contrast sensitivity, so seeing the edges of objects and being able to distinguish items in your visual field helps us with everything from reading to driving 
to uh, sending out our emails, being able to really read and, and see that contrast clearly. And then also visual processing speed. So how quickly we can receive this visual information and respond to it. So here's a few studies that I pulled uh, that were more recent studies looking at, for the most part, 10 milligrams of fluoroglolutine and two milligrams of zeaxanthin and supplementing with these anywhere from six months to 12 months. And you can see that in, these are nice sized studies and they're looking at some really important areas of visual performance, that contrast sensitivity, photo stress recovery, glare disability. So I pulled out two of these here to show these found significant improvements that when you supplement with 10 milligrams of fluoroglolutine and two milligrams of OptiSharp zeaxanthin, that you get improvements in this contrast sensitivity. Uh, sometimes it's hard to know exactly uh, what your uh, what we mean by contrast sensitivity. So, and here I'm gonna share my video again, maybe. Yeah, there. Make sure you're still watching. All right. So we have a little demonstration here for you. So let's see. Uh, here we go. So contrast sensitivity. So you're out on the golf field and you need to be able to see that ball. Can you find the ball on the golf field? Can you trace where it went to? Hopefully you said right there, uh, and that's what we mean by contrast sensitivity. So it helps in all sports you can think about, baseball, tennis, uh, soccer even, uh, but definitely it also helps with the gamers, being able to see those items as they're playing the games and help with that visual performance. All right, now one more. Now it's uh, cognition peak, so cognitive peak performance. So people want to be at the top of their game. They want to be performing the best they can. And not only does that have to do with visual system and processing, but there's our brain is involved in this as well. And so uh, I really like this graphic. It really, I think, clearly shows that the eye is actually an extension of the brain. So retina is actually neuron cells, neural cells are in the retina, and they actually develop from the same tissue that our brain develops from. So if you think about the eye, it's really a, an extension here of, of our brain. And so things, we know so much about the benefits of lutein and zeaxanthin in our eye, and we now are understanding that these benefits are also seen in, our, in the brain with cognitive performance benefits and brain health benefits. So let's take a look here at one study in particular. So this was a study done with 51 healthy young adults between the ages of 18 and 30. Uh, this was done at the University of Georgia by Lisa Rinzi Hammond, and she supplemented these healthy adults with 10 milligrams of fluoroglolutein and two milligrams of OptiSharp zeaxanthin for 12 months. And then she wanted to see what happens. Do they show improvements in any sort of cognitive performance function? And what she saw was that the individuals that were being supplemented with the fluoroglolutein and the OptiSharp zeaxanthin actually performed almost twice as well as the placebo group on a visual memory task or a spatial memory task. So this is exactly what the gamers are doing and having to remember and respond to these visual placements of items. And so she was able to find that they were significantly improved over the placebo group. And she also saw improvements in other areas of cognition, including complex attention and reasoning ability for the individuals who showed uh, MPOD value increases, meaning that the lutein zeaxanthin was shown to be deposited in the, in the eye through the supplementation. So really exciting study, really just giving you a, a slight in, look into the cognitive performance benefits that we're also seeing with fluoroglolutein. So just to wrap it up, again, thank you so so much for joining us for Coffee with Kimmen. Uh, I wanna remind you about lutein, fluoroglolutein, really being the gold standard for the lutein market. We are the most studied uh, research, uh, research lutein brand in the world. We have over 70 studies looking at MPOD clinical studies, over nine human clinical studies looking specifically at cognition. Uh, we have the patent showing uh, how lutein naturally protects our vulnerable eyes from blue light. And then finally, extremely safe with the grass for infant formula and over 15 clinical studies looking at maternal and infant nutrition. So please, I uh, hope that you enjoyed this, this copy with Kimmen. Once again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, CC's email is right there, cc.snyder at kimmen.com. And we look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much. Take care and stay healthy.